Okay, Madea fans, now about a week or so ago, it was brought to my attention that in an updated uh, summary or breakdown of the upcoming Madea film on Wik Wikipedia, it was quote-unquote confirmed that a Madea homecoming is the backdoor pilot for the Mabel prequel series coming to Showtime. And Tyler Perry did an interview with uh, Variety, and I'll leave a link to the full interview in the comment section below. But uh, this video was about this one isolated section I wanted to talk about. And it's on screen here. The lingering question is, what's next? Because this is at the tail end of the article. And, you know, it just goes over, you know, uh, Tyler's most recent projects. The ones that are coming up next as well as, okay, that's a lot of stuff. But where do you go from here? But... Perry is developing the Showtime prequel series Mabel with creators Janika and Jashika James, which will feature a young actor, not Tyler Perry, a young actor playing the character of Mabel, who will later be known in life as Medea, in 1970s Atlanta. But will his Medea rise again? Now, basically, again, the Medea film we're getting next week is going to be the backdoor pilot of, boom, the Mabel series. Tyler Perry, despite playing a young Medea in the film's flashback to the 1950s. Again, who cares? I honestly do not care. I mean, Ty Medea's memory could be a little foggy. Uh, I, I really don't care. I'm not going to sit here and nitpick. I will mention it in videos, but I won't nitpick about it. Okay, but the question is, well, first of all, I'm sorry. I'm happy that the Mabel series has been mentioned for the first time in God knows almost a year. So at least we know Mabel is coming, which is good. All right. But to further answer the question, what's up with his Medea? Now, didn't I tell y'all in the video, I said, you know what? Will the start of the Mabel series, which is basically the beginning of Medea and her younger life, Will that spell the end of, you know, the Medea as we know her? Because Tyler Perry pretty much brought this Medea, the one we know of, out of retirement to deliver the laughs, but also maybe pass the torch because perhaps learning about Medea's origins could also mean like, well, the Medea homecoming is actually more of a quote unquote home going of sorts where uh, the Medea we go will just fade away. But we get to actually see Mabel come, become the Medea we know of in present day or when she eventually came in like the early 2000s. So to me personally, um, this film does look like a, just a, a riot in terms of the laughter, uh, the family values and whatnot. And I feel like Medea, if this really is her swan song, this seems to be a great way to do it. Uh, Tyler goes on to say, I don't know. I've said no before in regards to, you know, Medea coming back. Perry shares some of his hesitation, suggesting that maybe he'll just let Medea fade away quietly this time. We'll see what happens. It's going to depend on what happens in the world. And that actually makes, you know, sense because of the fact that he created such a huge uproar when he's like, I think it's time to retire that old broad, you know, kill her off. That sent people into a spiral. I mean... He mentioned that, I believe, during the uh, Tyler Perry Nobody's Fool press tour and the, you know, panic about Medea being gone overpowered the press for the movie. Like more people were talking about Medea than Nobody's Fool. And when it comes down to the family funeral movie, which was a great film, by the way, by Medea standards, Tyler Perry standards. You know, there's even more people, you know, losing their mind. Oh, the Medea farewell play. And then now you have the Medea homecoming film. But yeah, sometimes it's better to just back away quietly than to cause an uproar. So, so he didn't confirm Medea's gone for good, but it wouldn't surprise me because the man is crazy busy. Maybe, you know, like you said, when he eventually uh, passes down more power to different people, directors, writers, and whatnot on his various projects. And when he has less on his plate that he has to do himself, then perhaps I could see him doing Medea for fun, but who knows? But yeah, um, even though it isn't 100% confirmed, part of me wants to say that this Medea film could in fact be the final Medea film. 
Again, it's not confirmed, but this could be just saying because we know it's like an updated script slash uh, variation of the farewell play. So I'm just, yeah, hey, just keep that in mind. Uh, but I can't wait for the film to come out. I will talk about it in a review. Uh, congrats to those who got the tickets to stream it on Tuesday. I missed out. <laughs> I'm so, I'm such an idiot. But then again, based on the time that people sent me the link to the uh, website, because that's my bad. I want to apologize. The video I did a couple days ago, I did not know that by the time I uploaded the video, the links were sold out. So, oops. But let's be real here. Somebody's going to upload it online. You know it. But uh, as always, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, what, what are you excited about? Are you excited about Mabel? Um, or, or Here's the real question. Are you more excited about Mabel and the fact that it is coming, but it's going to have another young actor portraying Mabel, not Tyler Perry? Or are you more upset that this upcoming Medea movie could be the final one? I'll say this, and I'm not trying to sound like, you know, hey, you better be glad or whatever, but I think we should all be happy that Tyler decided to bring out Medea one more time to do this film because he already said he was done with the character, but, you know, you could almost say that Rona was the reason for this, and that's one good thing coming out of the pandemic. That's what uh, basically spurred him to, you know what, we need some laughs, and here we go. So, just, just saying. But with that being said, I appreciate the support on the channel. Make sure you take a moment, hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hit the all button. Basically, you click subscribe if you haven't done so. You hit the bell and you select all and allow all YouTube notifications. That way you are up to date when I post content on the channel. If you come across any other news you want me to talk about on social media, feel free to hit me up on social media. Links are in the description. And if you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.